the typical thing today is that racism is blamed upon white America. The Nation of Islam got away with doing that, and that myth is perpetuated but I, I, by... I have to say something, uh, brother, because in 19 years I live in America. I've seen white who does not like black, yeah. and I've seen black who does not like white. Sadly, inside the church... Uh -huh. And I knew that. Sure. And I believe, I don't believe all Baptists are Christian. I don't believe all Presbyterian are Christian. I don't believe all Catholic are Christian. I don't believe, we have, we have so many people in our church who are not saved, who are not Christian. And it, it's time, it's time for the church to have unity. We must show uh, 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 repentance. We must turn from this wicked way. If, if you have any uh, thought in your heart, black or white, not a godly, not a loving thought towards the other person of the other color. It's time for you to repent. It's time for you to confess this sin. It's a sin. And God will forgive you. And God will hear. The, the Bible said, if my people who are called by my name humble themselves, it takes humility that you go before your church and I say, I'm white, I have a problem against black. I'm black, I have a problem <laughs> against white. And seek forgiveness. Right, That's yeah, when God right. is going to heal you know. your life, heal your church, heal your city. And you can't heal America. America will not be healed. Otherwise, I promise you, all of us Christians are going to be slaves to the Muslim in America. Yeah, in fact, the, the, one of the real problems is, you know, that uh, remember Malcolm X, yeah. right? Yeah. Malcolm X goes to Mecca, something Elijah Muhammad never did. Yeah. Uh, when, he came, when he went to Mecca, he see a lots of whites there. He, he renounced the racism yeah. Yeah. of the nation of Islam. He came back and he said, I sit down with Muslims of every color, of every. Yeah. God help us if Islam presents a more diversity than we do. Yeah. That's going to be a problem. Yeah. Uh, just like you said in um, uh, Galatians 3 28, there's neither Jew nor Greek. Nor Greek there is neither bond nor free. There is neither uh, male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Unless we realize that. It's shameful for me, to, for me to say that here tonight, this is one, and I've been in ministry for years, but this is one of the very few formats in which I've had diversity. Yeah, okay? There's not a lot of uh, cooperation. And I'm not saying it's because of segregation it's of the law. Just we just separate. It's, just okay? a fact. Yeah. it's very rarely that here is a, because usually a person like me is considered a black pastor. I'm not just considered a pastor. Yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. And, and so <laughs> if you're going to be on the news, a uh, black, black pastor. pastor. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> but, well, be a big... pastor. <laughs> but I'm experiencing more diversity here than normally I experience. Amen. You'd be surprised at how bad. But you're exactly right. We've got to do something because he's right. Islam knows about this. They would uh, love to show that they have more unity than Christians do. Uh, definitely, Jesus Christ is not it. The only color he's interested in is blood. Amen. We're saved by the blood of red. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we are brothers and, yeah, red. Hallelujah. <laughs> we are brothers and sisters in Christ. That should transcend language, ethnic group, and everything. But unfortunately, it does not. And that's a real problem in Islam. Amen. All right. All right. Amen. You know what? We got a lot of callers talking about diversity, and we got a lot of different types of callers, I understand. Uh, why don't we try to take some of them? Sure. And right. then we're going to come back to Pastor Emery to share a little bit more. Let's take the next caller right now. Welcome. You're on the air with Jesus or Muhammad. Hello? Yes. Hello. You're on the air. Yeah. Uh, how you doing? It's me, Peter, from Germany. H hello, Peter. Welcome, brother. Hello. I want to greet everybody in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Amen. And Pastor Emery. Amen. Yes. Uh, it's, it's nice to see you guys. It's, um, unfortunately, it's the last English show so far, right? Yeah, this is the last uh, last day in the Jesus or Muhammad marathon. Yep, yeah, it is. Uh, how you been doing with the fundraising? Well, you know, uh, I don't think we've done quite as well as we had hoped, but uh, we're trusting the Lord, Peter, that a lot will have a vision like you have, and uh, God will bless. Yeah, I'm, 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 I am very sure that you will succeed. I wanted to say something. I, I mean, uh, I wanted to say a lot of things, but uh, uh, Brother Osama just said something with repentance and God will hear our lands. Yes, 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 right? yes. And I, I know we both talked about this before, that yeah. Joseph. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I grew up in East Germany, and uh, Christians uh, were persecuted back then. Uh, if, if you were not in any organization, communist organization, you could not go to high school. You could not leave the country at all. I mean, people got shot trying to cross the border from East Germany to West Germany. So it was a sort of, I'm not saying it was slaves, but it was like a big jail, I'd say. Yeah. And what happened is uh, in the late 80s, 88, 89, people went back to the churches and repented. And then we had Monday service every Monday, and the churches got fuller every week. And then the churches were so full that we had to go outside the church, and I went on the street, and I, and I went into demonstrations. Mm. And within one year, 
we dismantled East, East German dictatorship. If anybody, it's very little known, that fact, but if you just look into it over Google or something like that, you will find out that is exactly what uh, Brother Osama said. Mm. It will work out. We just have to, you know, kneel down. I mean, we really have to go on our knees. That's, that's what I do, at least. Amen. And, 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 and just, uh, but I always say... Hum I humility. Myself, oh. Humility is the first step in that Second Chronicles 7.14 passage we're, we're right. looking at, Peter. Humble exactly. yourselves. And, and you know what the problem is in America, in the church? We hadn't got to the first step. <laughs> well, you know, arrogant. Yeah. Yeah. We're so yeah. pride, pride and, and arrogance. Arrogant. You, you guys, uh, um, I, I see very often on, on the uh, Bible programs, we even get in, in, in Europe, uh, American Bible programs, and it's about positive and negative energy and about wealth and, <laughs> and that kind of thing. Oh, that, that's all well yeah. good, but not, not the most pressing thing at the moment, I think. Amen. Mm -hmm. that's right. Amen. Yeah, well, may, may, may that revival that you're talking about in, in East Germany, may that same revival spirit uh, strike us here in America, Amen. because that's the only, I really believe, only gentlemen, that see, the, it, Jesus Christ will come back, obviously, and yes, that's going to yes. solve everything, but uh, we don't know when that's going to be. Probably soon, but it could be a long time, and until that time, uh, if there's not revival in the church, I don't see any hope Yes, yeah. Amen. against Islam in the West. Yeah. 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 God bless you, Peter. Thank you, dear brothers. Do you have another comment before we move on? Can I say one more thing, please? Go, go right ahead. Okay. Uh, uh, I, remember, um, I told you about those uh, persecuted Christians we tried to get over to Germany. I can say this now. Yes. Because uh, yesterday, uh, Ted... Ted Shubat, yeah. Yeah, Ted Shubat mentioned it. He recognized... I, I never talked to him, but he recognized me by my calls, and he put one and one together. Yeah. We got, finally, the approval from the German immigration office. And oh, was, one. On, de on, on December 23rd, we can pick up the papers. Praise God. Mm. Praise God. Well... That, that's a real praise report. I won't share any more information about it at this point, but after yeah. it's a done deal, I want you to come in on the air and tell our viewers what this is all about so they can rejoice with you. Amen. Yes, I will, we'll, we'll, we'll stay here and everything is safe and sound, then we'll tell you everything about it. You do that. I'll be looking forward to hearing from you after Christmas, Brother Peter, but I'm sure we'll talk before then. God bless you, brother. Thanks for your call and your dedication, your prayers and you're giving to ABN. Uh, we have a lot more callers. Uh, do you all, would any, either one of you like to make a comment right now? I'd like to make one to this guy. Go ahead. If that information, the information that you gave uh, was uh, so uh, insightful into especially, yeah. uh, not only slavery, but yeah. the woman's role in Islam. Oh, boy. Osama, I don't see how. Because another thing that's suppressed is, is that. We've got in the Western world, uh, liberation for women, feminism. Yeah. <laughs> so you see why you'll never get this like on. You'll, C like Listen, you'll, you'll never get this yeah. on CNN. Oh, no. You'll never get on CBS. Just, yeah. just this. They would come running out of yeah. Islam. Well, don't, don't you know mission. though? Uh, you're you're a step behind. I'm sorry, Pastor, because <laughs> because the hijab is liberating. Didn't you know that? Uh, th these these American converts to Islam, that these women, they put the hijab on. I felt so liberated. <laughs> I felt free. so free, <laughs> free when I put the burqa on. Islam gave wow. her freedom yeah, yeah, yeah. and present her. I, I got to say this real quick and I'll let Go you talk. <laughs> Man, <laughs> they, I, I still have half of my presentation. I know. Four three. Four three is coming Four too. three. There's four or five callers back there. There's four or three callers back there. But, but, but listen to this. Now, th th this is something you just touched on. But uh, all of those descriptions about slaves mm. that you mentioned, who, who was it talking about? Women. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Now, what you presented yesterday, what kind of slaves did the Muslims want out of East Africa? Did they want families? Did they want big husky men to work their farms? There ain't no farms in the desert. <laughs> you know? No. They wanted sex slaves. Yeah. And almost, Parents. almost yeah. everything mm -hmm. that you quoted, yes, there was an oblique reference to the fact that well, you might take some men captives and then their wives you'll have sex with. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it, it, that wasn't the standard no, practice. The no, standard no, practice, no. you kill the it men. Is, it is ab wow. it's all absolutely okay. about the female to be taken after you kill her husband or her daddy. So slavery in Islam... That's why, we, as we found historically, they were killing the children too. It's when, almost... Uh, when women get pregnant, to kill the babies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's almost all women. Yes. It's a... You know... 
I mean, slavery is slavery. It's bad, it's bad. But, you know, America, and even Central America, we're, we're, it's an agrarian thing. Come over, work, you have your family, you have your kids, your grandkids live with you. You come and you, you even get into our religion. You know, well, yeah, you got to sit upstairs or whatever. That's all wrong. But you, you, you get to keep your dignity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get to keep your family in a sense, okay? Yes, yes. This other business, the family is completely destroyed. Mm -hmm. The men are killed. The women are taken as sex slaves. The babies sometimes are killed. If they're not killed, they're not, they, you're not going to have them going to be your child and a single mother. Oh, well, I have a hadith to show you that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. there's a hadith coming up concerning children. It will shock you. Yeah. It will literally turn your hair gray. Yeah. And so, you I mean, you know. gray and lots of gray. I don't know <laughs> what's going to you know, turn it to you. What you're saying is so true. And what he's revealing, when you, when you put it together, what you yeah. said, we know that, that slavery in America was some bad stuff. Sure. But you had the Quakers fighting yeah. against it. Yeah. You had the Methodists fighting against Trump it. You had the abolitionists beginning. fighting against it. Oh, plenty. There was something in Christianity Not that's coming against it. one person in Islam fight against slavery. There you go. The, Even yeah. the Mufti today in the Cairo, the Mufti, the doctor, the teacher of Islam in Cairo today, they would say what? What do you want me to do? Should I get a, 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 a race and remove it from Allah's word? That's the Quran. <laughs> right, right. It's Allah's word. That's right. yeah. Too bad. Yeah. You know what he said? Tough. What he said? I don't care. I don't, I don't care. care. That's right. You That's what he said. Osama, we got five callers, so I know you want to say something. Go can right we, ahead. Can we get a 4-3? <laughs> go to 4-3. <four>, <laughs> hey, 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 four, four, three. That's the verse you want, brother. 4-3. Four, three. Four, three. You can't go fairly among the orphans. So marry what appeals to you from the women. Two and three and four. So if you fear that you will not treat them equally, so one wife, or have sex with what your right hand possesses. This is near, that you may not have hardship. Allah is concerned about the believers that they will not have hardship. Yeah. The first part of this, and if you fear that you cannot deal fairly among the orphan. Can you help me out with this, brother? Yeah. yeah. Why Allah is concerned about men cannot deal fairly among the orphan? What are you supposed to do with the orphan? Have sex yeah. with them? Yeah. Now, now, who are these orphans are we talking about in the context? Yeah. You beat me. Yeah. I, I look, I search, I could not find an answer for it. Okay. And it's like, and he's talking about sex. If you yeah. cannot deal fairly among the orphan, mm. okay, so marry what appeared to you. And he did not start with one wife, no, start with two. Mm -hmm. Two and three and four. Right. And if you fear that you cannot deal fairly amongst them, that means uh, treat them equally, then one. And he didn't stop there. You know what I love about American Muslims? They always come until the one and they put a period and that's the end of the verse. And I said, one time I was attending a conference and the lady, she's teaching about women in Islam, a Muslim lady. Mm. And I said, C can you please do me a favor? Continue the rest of the verse. Yeah. Uh -huh. And she stopped. So one, and she put a period. I said, ma'am, where is the rest of the verse? Or all what your right hand possesses. possesses. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Where is all what your right hand possessed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unlimited number of slaves, right. yeah. unlimited number of concubines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and that's because Allah does not want them to have a hardship. Allah yeah. want to make sure all Muslims have a comfortable way of life. We, we don't want to make it difficult for you. Have sex with all the slaves. Yeah, so, so if, if one wife can't fulfill your sexual desire, have two. And if she can't, three. And if all four, you still cannot satisfy your sexual desire, have slaves until and, and you... And that's unlimited number. Yeah. There's no such a thing. You know what say? some of the people lie is here and say, oh, Muslim, we're marrying slave like a wife. Excuse me. <laughs> marry her? <laughs> yeah, marry my foot. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, I, I want to get uh, another... And we're talking about black slaves, aren't we? I, it doesn't More matter. Other, any slave. Other. What, what, but what doesn't matter. Any percentage. We're any talking slave. about uh, Africans. Yeah. Okay. We're talking 180 million have removed from Africa to the Middle East. Mm -hmm. That's not a joke. I know 80% of them died, but we're talking about 40 million me uh, women was taken from my country, Africa, to the Middle East, and not one person talk about it. Not one book, not one movie. Right. Well, we're, right. we're going to need to exactly. take at least one yeah. caller of the five, or they're going to have a revolt back there. He's about to have a revolt right now. <laughs> I know. <He's> <laughs> we'll come back to you, but, but, but you know, initially, Brother Emery, who did they get the slaves from when Islam first started their war? From the polytheists, from the Jews, and from the Christians. Arabs. Arab, their own people. The neighbor of the land. Their it's own it's people. It starts with next door town. Their own yeah. tribes and kingdoms. Uh, how about Bani Qurayza? Yeah. We'll talk about Bani Qurayza. He is a Jew. He killed 780 men after he deceived and chopped off their head after they dig their own graves right. Right. and took their wives and their daughters. Yeah. 
their children, their land, their money. Read chapter Quran 33, verse 26 and 27. Terrorizing the Jew and the Christian, killing some of them, takes the rest slave, right. and they take their home and land and money.